Hey everybody in YouTube land, I'm uh, I'm back here. It's Tommy Z, and I've gotten quite a few requests for a more detailed explanation, I guess, of what's going on in the in the power control arena. So I thought I'd make a video in uh, with regard to that and some stuff that I'm going to be putting up for sale, thinning out what's uh, what's here okay what I've basically done here to answer some of these questions are a series of wall warts quite a few of them as each background for uh, the various amp and voltmeters need redundancy that is to say one wall wart per uh, display you can't put them in series or parallel. They have to be redundant. That's just the way that they're said to be wired. We tried it other ways and burned out the uh, background or displays on uh, on the meters. They're accurate. You can uh, turn a choke and, and zoom them right in on oh, let's say if you had a fluke meter. I have a good fluke meter with an inductive uh, probe on it to exactly uh, allow the two to it's early in the morning, what's the word I'm looking for to collate with one another to both be like uh, minded with regard to value, dis value display for amperage in this regard, I don't care about voltage but uh, for uh, amp draw and that way you're sure that they're again very accurate and you know these are just Chinese meters, three bucks a piece. Uh, you see them online. There's just a myriad of options to make it simple uh, to make up for the shortcomings of of these, which I've talked about before, which are about a sustained seven amps. They start to flicker and they're no good. So I don't have a channel here that's going to succumb to anything, say, uh, more than 30 amps, where again, these fall at about 8. So in other words, I can throw 30 amps a channel through a TIU, which they're 30 amp fused. It uh, doesn't hurt them. Um, they seem invincible. And that works for me, because when I run uh, three, four, sometimes as many as 10 or 12 engines in a consus, I need power. And when you add to that smoke generation and maximum settings and grades pulling, you know, I never, I don't know how to pull a short train. I never, never, it's very annoying. Never did that. I, uh, I do that. And I'm able to do that again with a, with these, uh, wall warts on the, on the side here. I'm getting used to this camera still. And after that, bricks. I don't recommend, and I've said this before, the 135, the, uh, I'm sorry, the one, uh, the 180 bricks. These are the 135 watt uh, bricks. And they're good for, uh, it seems to be there's a problem with the, with the breakers on the, on the 180s that wimp out. These don't wimp out easy these uh, 135 bricks and that's why I chose those and then the rest of them on the really heavy tracks I have these tap transformers or step boxes for uh, for voltage and when we turn those on like here's one here it's about a sustained 19 volts and another one here is uh, is the same on, a, on another track and man, are they exact. If there's anything going on, you will see it. They break it down into the, in, down into the exact tenth of whatever might be on that track. You, for example, could put a, a Proto Sound 2 or 3 or what, I don't have any 3, uh, 2 engine on a track and, and watch the battery charge while it lies in stealth with nothing going on. They're that sensitive. I like that. And uh, with that, the uh, Revision L TIU, in this example, there's six of them up here. Uh, the first one on the left 
you'll see two there on the right side of the screen the circular DCS one is the newer Revell TIU uh, correct or seem to correct all the little gremlins and anomalies that the previous TIUs seem to not like engine not on track and so on we've all been there and that helps in uh, in great measure so I suppose I'll be updating the other ones if I get a bug up my tail and, and I decide to do something uh, further with that which I'm not really figuring on doing I've, you know enough <laughs> All right, hope that answers some of the power supply questions. Suitcases, packets, little gremlins, anomalies, not a problem. All in the past. Never had any, uh, never had any issue with, uh, with those. The biggest to do with all this was the wall warts. And you could buy them in bulk, three bucks a piece, and you know, four. They're, uh, they're nothing. But these, uh-uh. No, 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 no. 135 bricks. They get the uh, Z-Man UL label. And, you know, being fair, and I've said this before, to produce these and get the Underwriter Laboratory certification of approval or whatever it is, yada yada, is, uh, I imagine, or was quite hard. And uh, they're a think tank. So if there's a shirt across the line, how you have to zero them, the throttles are off when you plug them in, that's a neat safety feature. I don't not like them. They just don't have the stones that I need that uh, that these that these uh, wall packs do. I need uh, I need a minimum of thirty. That's what I get. So that's what it is. And the TAUs under the tables and and other quadrants uh, see to that need. These are all in passive. These TAUs. They just tickle a signal up the line. Nothing even runs through them. I love it. So there's no danger. And it, uh, it works. Solid tons. Thanks for your uh, very kind uh, comments. I always love to answer. I always love to help. Just don't get crazy like I, uh, like I did here with all of us. <laughs> and uh, you'll be fine. I promise.